Hey, it's Katherine Ewing here from Emotional Freedom at Last. I'm actually in my office uh, waiting to start my EFT meetup group. And I had a few minutes and I thought I would just take advantage of that time and make a quick video. This uh, video goes out especially to my peeps in cabs um, after our conversations this past week around making videos and hearing a lot of fears and actually doing some work with some folks on that since our meeting this week. I decided I would just make a general video around tapping on the fear of making videos and being seen. So for those of you who um, aren't familiar with emotional freedom technique, this is a tapping modality. And just very quickly, the way we do it is I'm going to create a setup phrase where we tap on the side of our hand with the other hand. It doesn't matter which hand you use. I'm going to create three setup phrases here. And then I'm just going to start to um, use some shorter phrases as we tap on these different points. Top of the head, inside the eyebrow, outside of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the lip. Whoops, I'm going to tip the camera so you can see me a little bit. Just here outside of the collarbone, there's sort of a little soft um, indentation and it maybe can be a little bit tender because you've got some lymph nodes there and then about four inches down underneath the armpit for women it's right on the bra line guys you can figure it out so um, without further ado because I don't want to make this too long I'm just gonna go into the tapping follow along as best you can the words may not exactly relate to your situation I'll try to keep it general so that it does sort of resonate with everybody um, so I'm just gonna go with it and follow along, okay? Awesome. Even though I'm terrified to make videos of putting myself out there in the world, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I am so afraid to make this video and I'm afraid of looking stupid and embarrassing myself, I deeply and completely accept myself and my feelings. Even though this is really hard for me, I didn't realize it was so hard, this idea of putting myself out there on video. But I can feel all of this churning and disruption in my physical body. So I know that there's something going on here and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So we're gonna start the tapping now right on the different points. All this fear, all this fear about making videos, it's sort of surprising. I didn't know it was there. I didn't know it was there until we started talking about it. I know I've avoided it in the past and I've procrastinated about doing it, but I didn't realize the fear was so deep. I didn't realize that I was almost paralyzed around this idea of making videos, this idea of being seen, of putting myself out in front of people under the arm now, of making a mistake, of not being perfect, of embarrassing myself, of looking stupid. It's in there. It's really deep. Even as I'm doing this, I can feel the pressure in my chest. I can feel the tightness there, almost like somebody's got a grip on my heart. It's hard to breathe and it feels really heavy. And I also have this churning in my belly, this nervous churning. It's really uncomfortable. I don't like this idea, this idea of putting myself out there, this idea of making videos and letting the whole world see me. What if I make a mistake? What if I screw up? What if I look stupid? What if I forget what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna be so embarrassed and humiliated. This is really hard, but there's something else coming up, something much deeper, and the truth is, in the past, when I've spoken up, when I've been vulnerable, when I've drawn attention to myself, it hasn't been good. I've been shamed. I've been humiliated. I've been made fun of. I've been told to be quiet. I've been told to sit down. I've been told that what I have to say isn't important. And I've gotten messages that it's not okay for me to speak up. It's not okay for me to speak my truth. And it's happened more than, more than once. I can remember many times when it happened in my family, at school, even with friends who I thought I could trust. 
who turned on me for reasons I'll never understand, who said things about me, who spread rumors about me, who were mean to me. And I didn't feel safe. And I still don't feel safe. When I think about putting myself out in front of people, when I think of making videos and letting people see me and being vulnerable and talking about what's really important to me, there's a deep terror that I feel. Deeper than just being a little bit embarrassed or a little bit feeling a little bit foolish. It's really deep. And the truth is, I don't feel safe. In my family, in my community, it wasn't safe. It wasn't safe to be me. It wasn't safe to speak up. It wasn't safe to draw attention to myself. When I did that, bad things happened. I got in trouble. Perhaps I got hurt in some way, sometimes verbally, sometimes physically. And I learned early on that it's not safe to draw attention to myself, to make myself be important, to have people see me. It's better to hide. It's better to lie low. It's better not to draw attention to myself because that's really scary. And I didn't realize that this fear around making videos went that far back, that it was really that deep. But it is because some things have happened to me in the past that have been frightening, that have been painful, that have made me feel shamed and embarrassed and humiliated. And I don't want to feel that way again. So I decided somewhere along the way that it was safer to hide out. It was safer not to be seen. It was safer to sit behind my desk and not let anybody see me. It's really deep. And I understand now why I'm so frightened. I can have more compassion for myself about why I wasn't doing this. I know that these are old, deep wounds and deep patterns that have been with me for a long time that I haven't even been aware of because I've pushed them away and I've moved on and I've gotten past them, or at least I thought I did. But the truth is, they're alive and well. And this idea of making videos, of putting myself out there in front of all these people, people who might criticize me, people who might ridicule me, people who might call me a fraud and say, who do you think you are putting yourself out there like that? I'm terrified that it might happen again. But the truth is, that was a long time ago. That was then, and this is now. I'm grown up now, and I have a lot of skills. And there really isn't anything that anybody can say that can hurt me in that way again. I can't be hurt. I can't be betrayed. I can't be punished. I can't be made to suffer in some way simply for speaking up. I know that I have gifts to bring. I know that I'm really good at what I do. I know that I have a purpose in this world and that it's important for me to start to bring it out. And one of the ways to do that is by making videos so that people can see me. People can know who I really am. People can come to me with their, with the things that I can solve for them. And that's more important than this old fear because that was then and this is now. And so perhaps I can let this go. Perhaps I can let the part of my ego mind that is trying to protect me because that's what this fear is. It's my ego trying to protect me. It doesn't want me to be hurt or ridiculed or to suffer again. And so it's telling me, no, don't do that. Don't make videos. Don't put yourself out there. Don't let yourself be seen or heard. But the truth is, that's an old story. It's an old belief. And I'm safe now. And it's okay for me to show up. It's okay for me to step into the work that I'm here to do. It's okay for me to put myself out there and let people see me 
and bring my gifts into the world. I'm safe. I can't be hurt. There's nothing about making a video that can harm me. I might be a little embarrassed. I might feel a little silly, but that's okay. I'll get over it. I'm safe and I have gifts to bring and it's time for me to get past this fear and bring myself and my gifts into the world. And then just bring your hand back and tap a moment and just let that energy settle. And then breathe in and notice whether anything shifted, notice what came up for you. Again, not all of those words are applicable for everyone, but hopefully we touched on enough things that you could resonate with at least some of it. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions or um, you want to ask me anything about EFT or how we might work together, please feel free to do that. But just use this video as a guide to help you address your own fear of creating videos. And I look forward to seeing you soon on video, bringing your gifts and yourself into the world. Blessings. Bye now.